build this round base interior featuring a sunken floor with fireplace and five one by one cubicles. <laughs> Begin by placing six triangle foundations to form a hexagon. The triangle foundations should be placed as close to the ground as possible without allowing any of the terrain to show through. Now place a square foundation for your fireplace. The fireplace should be positioned directly opposite of the entrance, so keep that in mind. Place square foundations in the remaining five triangles. These foundations should all be raised. Fill in the remaining gaps with raised triangle foundations. Place a wall at the back of the lowered square foundation and add your fireplace. Add walls around the perimeter. Keep in mind your entrance will be opposite the fireplace. The reason for that will become clear later on. Add a half wall behind the fireplace to fill in the gap. Place a floor above the fireplace, then place a floor above that floor. This half wall high section will be for your auto turret. Add walls to the triangle sections, making sure the soft sides face you. If you want, you can fill these in with half floors and stone barricades. I usually fill my honeycomb with two layers of stone barricades. Filling your honeycomb with stone barricades will increase the raid cost by one C4, one rocket, or two satchels. As the hexagon of triangles is at the core of the base and sits directly on the ground, you don't have to upgrade them. I usually leave them wood, but you can upgrade them to any floor that you prefer. You could even take them out. Place wall frames in each of the cubicles. Place a wall frame in front of the fireplace. Upgrade the wall frames to metal. Complete your ceiling by using the appropriate floor tiles. If you want a second floor, leave this space open for a ladder hatch. Upgrade your floor tiles. You can use any type of doors that you like for your airlock I prefer to use cell doors here as they allow the turret to shoot through the bars. Add a wall frame and garage door here. Add garage doors to all five wall frames. You can add large boxes at the front of each cubicle for storage and to make it easier to get in and out. I usually use small boxes near the fireplace so that I can place a chair and still get around it. Don't forget the TC. I like to put it inside one of these triangle sections and then wall it off later.
If you have the extra large canvas, you can put that on the back wall and paint it a solid color and give each of your cubicles a different look. If you put another floor on the base, you could do exactly what you did on the first floor, creating six cubicles. I usually build the second floor as an open space. If you're not in a cold biome, you can remove the foundation where I put the fireplace and put a small refinery. If you want to honeycomb this base, the pattern is pretty simple. Go out the entrance and place a triangle and another triangle foundation on either side of that. The next foundation will be a square, and then after that, three triangles. Complete the pattern of three triangles and a square all the way around the base. Use this sunken floor design as your complete base, first floor of a multi-storied base, or as a separate building in your compound for storage, crafting, research, and repair.